are struggling to dress appropriately and I'm wording it very respectfully if you're struggling to dress appropriately and you find that you're going to push yourself for the pleasure of Allah to do the right thing for the sake of Allah no matter what the world says I promise you within a short span of time you will start witnessing the doors of mercy open one after the other the first thing you will achieve is contentment contentment means I lost my husband I lost my son I lost my daughter I lost my father I lost my mother and I lost my brother and my sister but I'm sitting here saying Allahumma lak alhamdu oh Allah to you belongs all praise why because I'm content I lost a lot it's going to be challenging my sister pick up the pieces and move on Allah will give you the strength pick up the pieces and don't pity yourself because it's you're not the first person it has happened to indeed but at the same time it's Allah who loves you because he says to us through the blessed lips of Muhammad when Allah loves you he will test you no test you must be worried why am I not being tested by Allah? Perhaps something wrong with me. We pay in order to write the entrance exam to enter the prestigious schools. When we get into the school, test after test, exam after exam, we are proud. We actually wanted those tests. The more difficult the tests at the school, the higher the qualification. Don't you agree? Well, Allah operates in a similar, yet slightly different fashion. The greater the test, the higher the qualification. If you were tested with a pimple that a mosquito bit you and you had it and you scratched it and so on, that's a minor test. For some people, it's like a qiyama, especially if it's on the face. But to be honest with you, it is relative because that is such a minute thing that distracted you so badly. But it's a small test. The certificate you're going to get. Because of saying Alhamdulillah when a mosquito bites you and there's a lovely big red mark on your nose and you still say Alhamdulillah, at least the rest of my face is okay. Hmm, I wonder if that happens. But if you do say that, you get a certificate. What is it? It's a small one, a grade one. That's it. You passed, maybe ECD. There we were. That was actually the mosquito that bit you. Now let's see. The next time what happens? May Allah protect us. You suffer a bigger loss. You are challenged in a bigger way. You came onto the earth in order to be tested. Some people say, how do I know that? You know it because you are being tested every single day. Notice it, you get sick, you get upset, you suffer loss. There's robbery, there's accidents, there's negativity, there's loss of life, loss of produce. There's anxiety. All this is from what? From the tests of Allah. We are going to test every single one of you, Allah says. With what? The first thing He says, Bishay'im min al khawf. Have you ever thought of why He mentioned that first? He says, with a bit of anxiety, fear. Fear of the unknown. Anxiety. That's what it is. People suffer. You just lost your spouse. Now what's going to happen? He was the breadwinner. I'm sitting with so many children. I'm a widow now. What should I do? I don't know where to earn. May Allah make it easy for you, my sister. My sister, we are here for you. We are a community. We are here for you by the will of Allah, for the sake of Allah.